Imagine a web design process that's as streamlined and intentional as a life that you've created. In this video, I'll share my step-by-step -step process to delivering stunning client websites in just two weeks, allowing you the freedom to balance your creative passion with the lifestyle that you love. Phase one, client inquiry to booking. By the way, if you would like a PDF with each phase and all of the steps in each phase, there's a download in the links below that you can grab with all of that. Now, the very first step that happens for me is a potential client inquires through my website. They complete a form expressing their interest to work together. And then after they've completed that form, it auto redirects them to a page where they can book a consultation call. Then on the date and time that they've booked, I do the initial consultation call with them. I tend to host these on Zoom. On that call, we'll discuss a lot of topics, but it mostly always ends with a discussion about my available upcoming design dates and they pick which one they prefer. From there, I create a contract and invoice for them in my CRM system, HoneyBook. I have templates set up for this, so it takes all of two seconds to input their name and business details and then send it off to them. Next, I send the contract and invoice. And then after that, the client signs said contract and pays said invoice. In the consultation call, we discuss what their preferred design date is, but if someone else takes it first, they'll have to take a later date. So with that in mind, clients often complete the contract and pay the invoice pretty much right away after receiving it. Now my CRM HoneyBook then auto sends to them their welcome package right away, which then details how to prepare for their design date, how to do their client homework, what homework to submit, the due dates for it, etc. I also make them a Google Drive folder where they can put all of their site content and I send them the link to that folder too. After that comes the fun part. I get to pick out a client gift for them. Now what I send actually depends on a few factors. First, where they live and what gifting companies operate in their country, as well as their personal preferences and taste, as well as the value of the package that they booked. So that's all in phase one, client inquiry to booking. You'll notice the one thing missing in here is proposals. Shock horror, but I don't believe in proposals. When you have specific offerings and packages and prices, you don't need to spend any time fiddling around with proposals. Moving on to phase two, the booking to project start. So this is where first we give homework reminders. I typically follow up about a week or so prior to the project start date to remind my client of their client homework due date. Now I actually automate this through my CRM system, but you can also totally do this by email if you don't have a CRM yet. Next, I want to email with an appointment scheduler link so they can set up a call for the first day of the design period. And then on this call, I go over with them all of their content, ask them any questions which remain unanswered by their homework, and I sort of walk through their inspiration websites with them really in depth. And of course, the final step in phase two is to host that call. Oh, and on this call, I'm also discussing with them where their domain name is and our options for moving or linking it and how that affects their website launch date. In phase three, it is design week one. So as I mentioned, I complete all of my website projects in a two week period. So phase three consists of and covers that whole first week of the project together. So here's what I'm doing in that week. And remember, if this is getting to be a lot to write down right now, I put those steps in a PDF, you can grab it below. Okay, so on day one, I'm creating a mood board and color palette to ensure style-wise that myself and my client are on the same page before I move on to building out the entire website only then to learn that the client isn't happy with the style or taste of it. And then starting with this mood board and color palette ensures that you don't go too far into the full website build with a style guide that the client doesn't even like, and therefore creating yourself more work in the long run. Now I send the mood board and color palette over to the client for review and request their feedback within 24 hours. They send back their feedback, and if it's perfect, I just move on. If it still needs some tweaks, I work on those right away and then send it back for another review. This process almost always takes one, maybe two tries to get it to where the client loves it, mostly because I've done a lot of work prior with learning about their design and style preferences in their client homework, and then on the call that we did together on day one. Next up is the actual website design. So I most often start with building out the homepage. I build out the layouts and the styling of the site guided by their written content. I make sure to save section designs that I really love to make designing the subsequent pages a lot faster. And also after building out the homepage, I go on to the other pages of their site one by one, helped again in large part by already having the styling perfected and their content to guide me and some saved section layouts from the homepage. 
Also in this week, I might work on moving their domain. It differs for each client when exactly I do this because their domains are often in different places. Some have existing websites up and a lot of traffic. Others don't have websites yet. So depending on their unique situation, I may begin moving their domain in this week. On the Friday of week two, I send over the completed website design along with guidelines on how to give feedback, when it's due, etc. I request a list of edits and revisions to be given to me by Monday morning at 10 a.m. and then I take off for the weekend. Phase four, design week two. The first thing I do upon sitting down at my desk on Monday is to review the list of edits that the client requested. I implement the client's feedback into their website and most often just have a list of the requested edits to one side of the screen and the website on the other side and I just work my way down the list. I then send them the link to their website again to take a look at the implemented edits and request more if they'd like it. Now each round of revisions I complete in 24 hours and then they have as long as they would like to get back to me with any more. Granted, in all of our client communication up until this point, I've made it clear that they get as many edits as their little heart desires, but we only have a week to complete them in. So that's quite motivating for the clients to get me their edits right away. And therefore the project moves pretty quickly. In the remaining part of week two, I link up external softwares and integrations they need on their website, often items like an email marketing system with opt-in gifts or an appointment booking system. And then I work through adding on some other functionality. Sometimes during the design, I'm just adding in buttons, but I'm not actually linking them to anywhere yet. Or I have a form added to the design, but I haven't linked up the collection method of the form yet. So I tend to do all of that in this time period. I also work on their SEO. I ensure that all of the settings are correct, the URL slugs are optimized, the page descriptions, etc. I also go over my own website launch checklist to make sure that I hit all of the important steps in the website building process and didn't forget anything. And then I have my client book for what I call our lesson and launch call. I basically teach my clients how to maintain and update their website so they're not always reliant on me. It's fabulous for the client because they don't have ongoing costs to maintain the website. And it's also fantastic for me because they're self-sufficient, all my past clients. And so then when I go work on future clients' projects, I just have one client to attend to and not 20 at the same time. So I do all of this via my lesson and launch call, basically another Zoom call where I walk the client through how to do all of the important bits on their website. For example, if they're going to blog, I show them how to use the blog editor. If they're going to be adding new photos because they know they're gonna do a new photo shoot soon, I show them how to swap out the pictures. And then finally, at the end of the call, I show my client how to pick the website hosting plan on Squarespace, which is right for them. We link up their domain and purchase a new one if they haven't already gotten one. And then we set their website live. Phase five, follow up. The next workday after the design period ends, I follow up with items used in the design, backgrounds, logo files, etc. And I also ask if they have any questions and that's pretty much it. That's a full website for a client in a two week period. It's beautiful, it's simple, clients love the individualized attention and the really quick launch of their website. Now, knowing a client process is one thing, but what if your clients are late on getting you the content? Or what if they're crowdsourcing from their family and friends about edits and revisions input, which is totally throwing your project off schedule? I host a free event once or twice a year, which helps with these issues and so much more. We are just putting the finishing touches on the registration page, so I can't share it with you just yet, but do download the client process template, which I mentioned, you'll then be on my email list, and when the free event registration is open, you will be the first to know. 